Craig Woods, Film Commissioner, Bahamas Ministry of Tourism, Bahamas Film and Television Commission. And Craig, how do you feel about the Bahamas International Film Festival in its fourth year? Wonderful. It's, uh, we, we've seen it grow by leaps and bounds. We're very excited. We've seen the increase in Bahamian film content. Uh, the Bahamian film content represents almost 10% of all the total films. The 83 or 86 films and close to 8 to 9 Bahamian films. And all genres, short films, feature films, documentaries. So we're very excited. And what plans are there for the future for Bahamian filmmakers? Or any, is, is there some really exciting news from the Ministry of Tourism as far as their support? Yes, there is. Uh, we are very happy that for in the first quarter of 2008, we expect to have at least four projects. Two of those projects may be going to Grand Bahama, one may go to Eleuthera, and another one may be shared between Eleuthera and Nassau. So we're very excited for the first quarter of 2008. And Craig, you go to other film festivals um, as part of your job, I'm sure, and how do you feel this one compares to the ones you see around the globe? For a fourth year film festival, it's very classy to have it at Atlantis, which uh, when you look at how they dress up this place, very exciting, a lot of cachet. For a fourth year fe film festival, this is developing very well. Uh, it could be the can of the Caribbean. Well, the selling feature of the Bahamas is everything. So Sean Connery put it best in Daryl Hannah. Uh, her mother brought her here because she wanted her to pretty much get away from the, mat the matting world. In the Bahamas, every Bahamian believes he's a star, so we give all the celebrities that come here their space. They feel comfortable here among us. They walk among us. Nobody's chasing them around. If anybody's chasing them, it's not us. It's the tourists uh, from all over. But it's not Bahamians. Every Bahamian believes he's a star, and they blend in very well with celebrity. So Sean Connery mentioned uh, that we needed more support from the government. Is that forthcoming? We think it is. Uh, the Bahamas Film Commission, the Ministry of Tourism, we've been in discussions in developing a, some form of film incentive that will be available for both Bahamians and non-Bahamians. So we think in the ensuing years, uh, Bahamian filmmakers will get a higher level of support from the government that they've gotten in the past. And once the legislation is in place and the Grand Bahama Film Studio becomes more viable, more filmmakers will get, uh, get better training uh, to develop their craft, we think the support is going to just be tremendous. What are some of those incentives that you well, I can't talk about them right now because they're still in the drafting and legislative uh, hasn't been put into legislation. But uh, I think uh, Bahamian filmmakers are going to be very excited once it's become law because they'll be able to participate in it, in it as well. So you do have a listening ear from the government? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. I mean, uh, in the previous government, we had a listening ear, and we know for sure in this present government, we do have a listening ear. So we think it's going to happen. It's just a matter of time. Uh, my name is Kareem Autumnore. I'm from Nassau. I have two films in the festival this year. And they are? One is Float, and uh, Float is a narrative short. It's 32 minutes. Uh, and Float, uh, it's, it's, this is Float's 41st fe film festival, and it's his Bahamas debut. Um, Float is a story of a, a white Bahamian artist that goes to Luther and discovers inner voice. And I also have Charter Course, which is a documentary that I made it for over the last two years about the first Bahamian Olympian, Sir Derwitt Knowles. And it's its world premiere at the festival on Wednesday. As a Bahamian filmmaker, um, what does Biff mean to you personally? Uh, Biff means a lot of things to me personally. I mean, Biff has really given me a platform to show my work to a local audience. Um, I've, I've always been uh, supported. Um, I have had like, tremendous support from the from the crowd here, like at my screenings. Um, it also has helped me because we won. I, was, I had the opportunity to win the um, audience award last year, and um, that enabled me to go to other festivals around the world. Um, including Rome Independent Film Festival and uh, Float. Also, uh, from the industry professionals that I meet at Biff, I was able to get more exposure from that. So it means a lot, a great deal to me. What format do you shoot in? It depends on the budget of the film. Uh, Float was shot on HD, and uh, so Derwood was mixed format, uh, a mixed format of high 8 archival footage, uh, HD, and uh, mini DV. So all, across all platforms, yeah. What's the size of your average crew when you do this? Um, Float, we had a, a crew of 10 uh, for Sir Derwood. It was mostly uh, me and my producer, Willard Thompson, and we also had some support staff from the counselors and uh, a, a young uh, upcoming uh, technician called Gerard, uh, Gerard Smith for, for Sir Derwood.
Now, for Bahamians who want to see it, is it uh, something that would, would it go on TV? Or? Um, so Derwood would be on TV. Float isn't uh, necessarily going to be on TV. I think these are the only two screenings for Float. Uh, Float, we have U.S. and German distributors, and so I can only exhibit uh, it if, if, it's, if it's for free. Um, so it won't be on uh, TV anytime soon.